Oh, just another day, folks. I'm out with Van Camp. We're actually going down to the gym for the first time, so uh, you still got a bit of a cold, haven't you? I've been trying to get rid of it. Come on in. Oh, you dirty pig. Oh. It's like a bloody walrus. I am the walrus. <laughs> Come on. Oh, it's just a day out Lisa from Northerners on tour, you did give Lee Van Camp a sticker and you did notice that you had to put it on his van. Well, I'm going to do that for you right now. Oh, are you a good boy? Come on, let's get round here. I'll put it next to our Butler's Empire one, shall I? Look, he don't wash this thing. Look, this van, look. Give that a bit of a rub, look. That's better. I don't want it coming off, Lisa and Mark. Right, that's that. Here I camp. Come on. I need a hand. I've only got two hands. I'm not an octopus. Come on. Come on, we got to go to the gym. I'm a walrus. Go, 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 go. I don't need to go to the gym. Of course you don't. Come here, I want to give me a hand with a sticker. Right, you I hold the back in. On. You hold the back up, back in plate. Just the back in plate and pull it off. Da, there we da, go. Da, 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 right, let's da, whack that on there. I'll give it a bit of a wipe. Da, 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 Lisa and Mark uh, from Northerners uh, on tour. Uh, 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 You've now uh, made it. Da, 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 Can you shut da, up? Da, 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 da. You've now made it onto the Lee Van Camp wagon, passion wagon. You are privileged. Yes. Well, come on, let's go to the gym. So we've uh, just joined the gym for next to, well, funny enough, it's right next to the Ragged Apron, which we was going to pop in today, but it's not open today because it's uh, Monday. Monday, and Ragged Apron don't open on a Monday, folks, just to let you know. All right, Van Camp is just about to do a little bit of gentle walking on the uh, treadmill, folks, so... Um, this gym is the Forge, by the way. It's, right, as I say, right next to the Ragged Apron, and uh, we're gonna be doing a few little videos in here just to show you the sort of local stuff they got in here. It's an ideal thing. It's only 20 pound a month, folks, so uh, sign the book when you come in. It is a 24-hour gym. Are you warming up, Camp? Yeah, just warming up. Right, get yourself on the treadmill. Let's get you on there. Oh, I can't get on it. <laughs> I can't get on it. <laughs> right, right, okay. That's a start, right, now, you've got a speed control. You got your what you call your quick start here, which you can just press it to start it. Yeah. And then just uh, increase your speed. There. You want to be just. I'm all right, small. There's your speed there. Look too. Probably just take it up to about two point five, maybe maybe even three for you. Yeah, that's all right. There we go. Two point five. You want to come forward? Move forward. Come try and stand up straight when you're walking. No, I'm trying to take the weight off. The I know what you're trying to do, but that's better. That's more of a decent. Hey? That hurt. Yeah, well you ain't got to go fast. That's Just mean. give it about five minutes on there. Have a little rest and then do another five minutes or so, yeah? Okay. Alright then? Yeah. Right, while he's doing that folks, I'm gonna go on the step. We'll just do a bit of warm-up on there and we'll see you in a minute. Are you right there, camp? Yeah. Told you to go very lightly. Just get your body used to the movement. It's not about the weight at this stage, it's getting your muscles working in the orientation which the machine needs to be in. And that will, that will do your chest across there, your triceps at the back of your arm, and also your front deltoids, which is your anterior deltoids. Will it make my do that bigger? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I've just done 20 minutes on that, folks. We're not going mad, we're just taking it easy, just getting that body's used to moving again after all these years. Although I did join the gym last year, yeah, well you've done it and I started day. doing well. Yeah. But the trouble was, was that me being me, thinking I could lift what I used to lift years ago, and yeah. I pulled a muscle in my back, yeah. and I didn't go back after that. Just it's gonna so. do a complete a whole body workout. He's got dodgy knees, as you know, and he's got a dodgy arm, so we just got to have to tailor. I'm dodgy all over. Well, of course you are. <laughs> we have to tailor his exercises for his ailments that he's got. Right, we won't show you no more of this, folks, but we will look around the gym and uh, you'll see what it's all about. Well, you've just done your first full body workout. How did that feel to you? <laughs> <laughs> Mouth feel good. Yeah, told you. Take it easy. I ain't done it for a good while, folks, but uh, getting back into it. Just not going to go too mad at the beginning. Anyway, we're off now. Let's have a full fry. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking. See you later. 
We're back again, aren't we? We're back again. After the gym. And what are you there for? You're going for a bit of this, aren't you? I'm looking a bit of rump. A bit of rump steak. Yeah. I'd like to bring Sharon down. Sharon. I'll buy a fresh one and then... What's that, the river beef? Yeah. So you could, I could, she can freeze it when I get out up there. We uh, cooked them pies up and this we got the other day, folks. We in that Kasori video which we've got, and uh, they were lovely, shall weren't they? Yeah. So we've come down and bought the job a lot more. There we go. Look at that. Pasties especially. The pasties were absolutely fantastic. Yeah, everyone raved on about the pasties. And that that minced beef pie and the uh, the other that was fantastic. You only had one of them left out there, so we we, we gone for the steak and onion. Just the rump separate, yeah. Oh, all right, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you buy your own rump. Well, no, I'm not buying yours as well. I didn't say that. Don't be nasty. He's nasty. Don't be nasty. Get rid of him. Are you the rump? I'm the rump. I'm the rump. That's good value. Look at the size of that, Sharon. Look. It's a bit big for Jimmy, isn't it? How much is it? Eleven pounds. Thirteen eighty-four. Oh, you're going for a big bit. Thank you. Hey, that's a big bit, isn't it? Yeah, I've done a bit of steak for ages. No, of course you ain't. Right. Yeah, I've got three out of it. Hey? I'll get three out of that. You might do. I'd cook it all in one. If I'm just Jimmy and Lance, I'll do We've got some eggs coming as well. We're having them eggs as well, folks. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, we've done that new Kasori turbo blaze and then pies and uh, pasties. They cooked in there at 165 degrees C. I think it was 20 minutes we put them in for and they're absolutely fantastic. And it's one of the best we've tasted. And if you do come in here, if you just come over to the fridge, or the freezer, sorry. There they are. They do a bigger variety there. You've got the peppered steak slice, which we've got a couple of them as well. That's the steak and kidney ones. They had the steak and um, minced beef there, I think. Um, cheese and onion pasties, and also these things here, which are beef and vegetable. Is it beef and vegetable? Oh, oh, meat and potato pies there, look. Lovely. There's some really nice stuff in here, folks. And they are half the price of what you get in a fish and chip shop. They're normally about four pound in there. As you can see, the steak and onion pie there, one ninety-nine. Steak and kidney, all one ninety-nine. There you go. Which is half the price of a normal fish and chip shop. Hello. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll just cut you another one, but just as a yeah, guy. Yeah, it's only for my daughter, my son-in-law. Only for your daughter. Your daughter should be everything you got, Sharon. <laughs> Not only your daughter. When are you going to um, America? Tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, he's off to America. Look. North Carolina. Ka or Carolina. 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 Yeah? How long are you going for? Two weeks, will it? Oh, a week. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, look, you, we was only in here um, a few days ago, weren't we? Yeah. Just, just to refresh your paintings on the wall there. Yeah. And we just come in again because we've got them pies and all that. And what's happened? I've just sold two of my planes. Another two? Yeah. How about I that? Suppose Christmas. Christmas it is. Hey, cool. hey, no, they've got the room. They, they got the room. No, they've got the room now. Damage. That's your Grinch on the wall over there, isn't it? That That's full, the full yeah. size There's Grinch. There's a nice picture there. Look, people want to see that. Okay. What's that? Spitfires. The Spitfires. Oh, yeah, that's one of these. Look, the Spitfire on the wall. And, there, and the red arrows. The ones in the in the frames are not yours. They're someone else's, isn't they? Another artist who comes in here and puts his uh, paintings yeah. up on the wall. Yeah, I told him that, Shall I told him to put a little link in his description yeah. for your uh, your them. eBay shop, because yeah. people are interested. Anyway, so I've gone for a black coffee again. Sharon's got a normal coffee. And I've gone for just the average breakfast. Sharon, what did you go for? I went for a toasted sandwich and Just with chips, chips I think. Yeah. yeah, and what did you go for again? Oh, just the breakfast. Yeah. No extras? No. Oh, well, never mind. No, just for boring. Yeah, that's yeah. what I fancy. Let everyone know that you feel all right now after you uh, yeah. disease you had. Yeah, yeah. No. But we just got our little uh, little luncheon. I've gone for the little breakfast. Well, it's nice. No, it's, it's a, is it a little? I don't know what you call it. I think it's the bigger breakfast. Normal, actually, yeah? normal, I've got mustard on mine, folks. I know you a lot of you might not like that. Lee's gone for literally the same breakfast as me, but he ain't got the black pudding on hers. Sharon's got for a little side bucket of chips there with also uh, cheese and onion sandwich, Sharon. So that's it, folks. We won't show you a seat in this because it's going to be very tasty and you've seen it many, many times in here. Right. A certain lady went on my Kasuri site. Oh, yeah, that one you're supposed to have blocked. Yeah. And she said, oh, Butler's Empire, repeat, repeat, repeat. Why are you still watching? Go on, Shia, tell her. Go. Bug her off. Go. And thank you to all the people that defended us. Thank you very much. Well done, Sharon. Well, just another day, folks, and a little bit cold in the air now. All the leaves are falling. 
but uh, Lee Van Camp's got a bit of a problem. Of course he is. Come and have a look what someone's done to his van. Look, we come out of the cafe the other day, didn't we? Yeah. And uh, look, I don't know if you can make, make, see that at all. They smashed the back of his van in. Look, big bleating dent there. Look, caved in. The corner bit's been smashed in as well. Broke his bumper there. Look. Yeah, no one said nothing about it. Look, you can see it from that sort of angle. Look. Look, all rippled in, look. Unbelievable, isn't it? Unbelievable. I had that panel off as well, didn't I? Yeah, I know. That's got to come off again now, isn't it? Well, that's good to get it out. Yeah. Yeah, oh, why don't you do that? Well, me? I don't know. We might have a look at that on Jim's the... Jim's good at that. Your son. Yeah, well, so am I, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I used oh, to do a bit of that sort of stuff myself, as you probably well know. <sighs> Harry Worth used to they do that. They won't remember that. Of course they will. So, uh, yeah. That will be probably coming up on me Retro Restore channel, folks. Um, I won't put that on here, but yeah, just something which... Why do people do that sort of thing? Didn't even tell him. Unbelievable. And this is something which we're going to tackle as well today, folks. Uh, <laughs> look at that, look. Oh, my God. I knew you were going to help me tidy it up. I, I am going to help you tidy it up. I made it look worse Of course you have. See that jacket there? Yeah. You'll never get into that. I, oh, do you know what? What? I think you're right. This guy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, what have you been hanging up there? What's that strap for, hanging up? You don't want to know. I don't want to know, no. You don't want to know. Oh, bottle of apple aid there, look. Unbelievable. Oh, oh yeah, do you want some? No. <laughs> oh. Fresh from yesterday. Fresh from yesterday. Unbelievable, I was, eh? I was caught with short. That's cussed up yesterday, mate. No, look at the state of that, folks, look. Listen, folks, he, he said to me this morning, I'm coming around and cleaning your fan Yeah, I'm going to help you, because I'm fed so up with you. I looked at it and I thought, hey, do you know it was quite tidy, so I had to go in bed and mess it up a bit. If you believe that, folks, you believe anything. You know he's not like that. I've seen your van before anyway. It doesn't matter. I did tidy it up the other day a little bit. Yeah. And Why you bring the What are you doing? Who was that singing? That was uh Go on. I know. Hang on. Do, 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 do. Don't tell me I know. I, know. Yeah, I, know. I want you to be my baby. Hang on. Who, um, he didn't quite do it in a club singer no, style. Um I know it. Terrence Trent Darby. I was just gonna say that. No, I you know. wasn't. Only I just I'll give the, you a few seconds. I just bought the bloody I've CD. I've got the seatbelt on. Put your seat stop where you are, stop right yeah, now. Thank you very much. Who sung that? Thank you very much for the extra ride. Oh, no, Spice Girls. Thank you very much, thank you very much. I've got to get the seatbelt on. See you in a minute, but you're doing that sweet. Let me out. Right. Let me out. Thank you very much. All right, well. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. He's going faster than you. He is, isn't he? <laughs> I think the dog's pulling I him along. the dog is pulling him along. Well, we just had a breakfast. Woo, he paid for it. I had a normal size breakfast with extras. You had the uh, normal size breakfast. With just uh, an egg. And we met a lovely stuff. couple from Brig, didn't we? Yeah. We just walked in, they was obviously just been in, and uh, they was in Horncastle. Hello, you know who you are, and uh, nice to meet you. And yeah, you had the small breakfast as well, which we just seen another couple of people in there said, you sure that's a small breakfast they've just said? Yeah, that's big, isn't it? So uh, yeah, Especially nice to meet you. Fiver. They was in Horncastle, which is about six miles from here, and they popped down to the Ragged Apron. So yeah, and we run back in and give them a sticker. You did. And one thing you haven't got is a Lee Van Camp sticker. No, I haven't. I should get some done. You should get some done, mate. They're looking forward to it. Yeah. Just to let you know, good. folks, that we've been working on uh, the, the Christmas show, which we do. Um, we've got a few characters lined up. We've had to buy a few little things, and uh, he's involved in it as well. So, Can I just say a, th a little thank you? By all means, carry on. Um, just say a little thank you to uh, all you subscribers. And by the way, I'm only about 12 away now from 4,000. So um, if there's anyone out there who's not subscribed, it's free. Uh, I'll, I will welcome you to my little channel. Plugging your channel or my channel? Um, is that all right? Well, I don't know. It's clickbaiting. You've already clickbaited me a few breakfast. times. Go on in. I think. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much. Oh, what for the breakfast? No, for the, all the people out there. Can't get over the state of the back of that van, folks. I've had to make it filthy. Worse. I've had to make it a little worse. Oh, we've got to anyway, make a film of it, haven't we? Anyway. Let's uh, think of somewhere to go because we've just eaten. I don't, well, let it go I don't feel like doing no, that. No, I don't. Either. We've got look. We've got the whole world in front of us. Look, look. We've got the whole world in front of us where we can go. Yeah. Where do you want to go then? Um, I tell you what I do. Oh, go on. I like doing this. This is what I, when I when I go out somewhere, I usually open up the the book. Not when you're driving. No, not when driving. And I go. Where you ended up? Just below Berwick upon Tweed. 
That's a long way away. Um, yeah, it's a bit far, really. Yeah, well, we can't do that. That don't work. Let's not no. pin a towel on the let's, donkey. Let's, let's try and do... That's what you're doing, isn't you? I'll tell you what. what? Let's get our page. Let me have a go. All right, so no, 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 no. Get the vicinity. I've got to get the vicinity. We want to be in the right county. You got. To, I think my page 33 is missing. What is that, then? So I use it so much, that's my area. Oh, your zone? I think it is missing. Yeah. 30. So that's ruined that idea, then? Oh, hang on. Wait a minute. No, I've got it, I've got right, it. Right. Well, right, close your eyes. Oh, oh, let me see the page first. I like to get my bearings. So I want to know where I am, roughly. Close this is eyes. the humbug, that's the yeah, wash. Right. Close your eyes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just trying to have a little... Where's Lincoln? Just give me an idea. There. There? Yeah. Right, so what, right. I might want to go south no, of Lincoln. Right, close your eyes. Right. Well, go on. Where's the page? Yeah. Am I in the right area? Could be. Go on. Hold it there. Don't right, move. I've got it. You got upside down. <laughs> What's the idea with that? Then? Because you got your own. What point have you proved? The, the thing is, so where, you where, never... where, where is it? Then? Oh look. What are you done? Where was it? Page just falling out. Yeah, but where was it? Where, where, did, where, where did I end up? You ended up at uh, Redford. Oh, I'm not going there. I'm not going there. What's going on here? Oh, that goes over there. Uh. It's Christmas. Can you buy me a new map? You got a sat nav, mate. No, but I like looking at this physical map. It's nice. I like something tangible. I love that word. Something. Something, yeah. Something in the way she looks. Moves. Moves. Right. That didn't work, did it? Right, hang on. I like to see a little bit of history, folks. Well, we've done all the history around here, haven't we? No, we haven't. Well, we've done quite you a bit. You say that. We've done, yeah, what about a church? We've done a church. Well, what about... Uh, oh, we've done, they've seen the river. The, the river. Oh, I know what they haven't seen. What's that? The museum in Woodall. It's shut today. No, but you can see the outside of What's it. What's the point of that? Okay. Uh, show them tea house in the woods. We just eaten. We've done it. You've done a tour of wood, haven't we? I've done the Kinemar. Done the Kinemar. Been around Petwood. Have you been seen Kinemar recently? We've done it up. They haven't done it up at all. No, they haven't. They have. I've been there. We done it. We went. We went to see Abba the movie. No, they've done the place next door up the spa. The spa. I know that. Yeah, I've, I've, I know yeah, that. You've seen that. You've seen that. Uh, <laughs> oh, we can have a talk, can't we? What do we talk about? Well, just get going, shall we? Don't get bored sitting there, I'm getting well, hungry. Well, you can't be just eaten. Now, come on, let's, let's talk about something. Did you remember, um... I've forgotten. <laughs> Don't make that noise, it's horrible. Sorry, I still haven't got rid of it. What? My, uh, chest. I'm still chesty. Do you remember that, that, that young girl went to the doctors? And she went in there because uh, she got a chesty cough and he said right okay big breath and his mum's mum said yes she has hasn't she get going ah <laughs> oh, thank god for that folks get on the road he was doing my sweeting just having a little drive around this is that lay by he normally pulls in where he does his editing look and that's where he broke down once look do you remember that yeah that's where i saw uh Two Mark, of your subscribers. Mark Granger. Was and, it Mark uh, Granger? Mark Granger and his daughter Kelly and their grandchildren. That's nice. And I gave him a big thank you yeah. on my video. That's nice, isn't it? I'll give you another one. So we're going... Uh, no, you won't. I'll just turn the camera away. Okay. So we're going on our way to Stixwold, folks. This is something which is very near Woodall. And um, yeah. Stixwold, or wood, this part of uh, Lincolnshire, had many small railways going up and down it. And they was all like disbanded. In the late fifties and the sixties, the exactly. That's where we're going now. I'm going to show you one of these little platforms that was, um, well, was a, a station at one stage. Oh, do you want to go to that one down there? Yes, that's it. Yes. Oh, I know. So we'll get we'll get you show you where this is. Well, people do dog walking down here. Well, now. we used to me and Shell because we got a couple of dogs. Yeah, I usually go down here for a little kip. It's a little. Uh, what makes me laugh? You see this little road we're going down. This is the only road that links up with that main road we've just been down, yeah? Yeah, it goes, it goes so, around to it. Yeah, I know, but yeah. the station is right the way down here. 
Yeah. How do you get from the station to any main road? You've got to come up this little little dirt no, path. You go by train. No, but when you get off the train, how do you get to the main road to get to another destination? Like, walk, isn't you? Well, exactly, that's what I'm saying. Look at it. It's a, it's a big long walk, look. Unless you've got a bike. Take a little bike with you. Listen, little commuters little are not known for carrying bikes. They are in London. We're not in London, bikes. we're in the sticks. That's yeah, the idea well, of it. You think about I'm it. going back to the 1900s. You think about it. If you were in the country, wouldn't it make sense to have a little fold up bike if no. you've got to come all the way? They weren't invented then. Well, of course they've been having donkey's years. Listen, ladies who wear lace with hats on and things, carrying suitcases, right. haven't got rain time for bleeding. Do you know you can go down there, that road? Yeah. Yeah. What difference does that make? That's another long road. Yeah, I know. But that well, you're not making any point. It leads out into Woodall. Yeah, but it's a long way. That's what I'm saying. I know it's a long way. But maybe... No maybes about it. It's all in the history. Ah, I know what they used to do. There's a footpath. Forget about that. All right. That road we just turned off is a main road. Don't, to get to the station... Don't need to shout. What do they do? This is what I have to put up with, folks. It's you, you get yourself in a two and eight. I'm trying to explain to you and that I'm the station... I'm trying to explain to you, they've got a footpath. Oh, this is great, I love this, because this really lets people know who you are. The argumentative person, which makes me raise my voice. I mean, instead of you playing to the camera, being all, all passive, poor me, poor me, and they all think, oh, we don't pick on Lee, this is the real you. I'm trying to explain to the people, the station is miles away from the main road. And only going down this little dirt track type road. Now what you got to say? Right, because you know why? No, they, I'm just letting the people they know. They alighted off the train on the other side. And the other side, there's a path that's nearer to Woodall. How much nearer? Well, oh, I would say a good fifth of the way nearer. Fifth of the way nearer is nothing. This is about two miles out of Woodall. Right. I can't wait just to get there, folks, just to get out of this cab. Because he's doing my Sweden already. Do you know what? What? It's lovely being on your own, isn't it? Have you ever asked yourself the question why you are? No, because I want to be. I haven't got to argue with people like you. Well, do you know what to do then? Get out. Who's oh, well, get there. <laughs> no, I was thinking of bring my bike up here. Anyway. Right, we're just pulling up to it, folks. Right, listen. This building in front of us used to be the station house, right? So don't you think that road we just come down, bearing in mind there's nothing around here, look, either side, is a long way from a main road for little delicate ladies with their little frocks on, their, their little cotton frocks on and their big, big hats on. You've got to say about frocks, haven't you? Well, I'm just trying to paint the picture, that's all. About you. I'm coming around here, that's the station, and the platform is just over here, look. We'll get out in a minute, folks. We'll just get out and we'll walk along the platform. Let's just park up here. This is where we used to bring the dogs, me and Sharon, about half past seven, eight o'clock in the morning, and walk along here, which was the old train track, which we'll show you when we get out of the car. Right, just parked up, folks. Let's get out. Oh, what a lovely day. Here we go. So this, believe it or not, is the main train track. These are the raised bits there. This used to be the platforms here, look. So you go Woodall Spa, there. As I said, three and a half miles to get to the main Woodall Spa because there's nothing in Sticks Road really so that's your nearest little village so if you carry on walking down there you'll end up in Woodall Spa don't forget <clears> those <throat> days they were a lot fitter eh? than us they were a lot fitter eh, nothing to do with that nothing to do with that and Lincoln is 13 and a half miles that way so you can imagine I'd get a train. there would have been two <laughs> <laughs> there would have been two lots of train tracks along here look yeah? Come here, don't walk on where the trains go. Oh, you be a passenger. I'll be the train. I'm over the engine. Eh? So there would have been two sets of tracks here, I would imagine. And this is the uh, platform. Either side, one either side, I would imagine. I think that's how it works. I'm sure there would have been two sets of train. We can see a picture down here, folks, just to have a look. You'll be able to see exactly what this used to look like before it was disbanded. As I say, this was a Stickwold station. And Woodall Spa had its own station as well. But these are now, I think they're 
not National Trust walks. I think there's something like that. There's, there is a symbol along here, National Pathways or something. And that is it. Look, that was the uh, Stixwold Station there. But this would have been the old uh, Stixwold Station. And uh, if you look up there, that's probably where the uh, station master used to sit and um, pull levers and things when the trains were coming in and make the lights change your colour or whatever they do up there. So that's that, yeah, just over here, if I just get up here, there you've got the uh, river with them as well. All along there, look, you get the old canal boats and stuff go up there. And yet again, that will go all the way to Woodall Spa as well. And probably all the way into Lincoln as well. You'll be able to pick that up there. Yeah, it's lovely. Nice little area. Nice quiet area. And I think I'm right in saying that um, this house, it has been heard that they hear trains coming along here at night time. Yeah, a little eerie, that, isn't it? A little bit spooky. You do like your coke, don't you? Oh, that was a lovely bit of history, wasn't it? What, coke? No, I've, well, well, we've just been out there. I was just trying to tell the people yeah. what's out and about, what's around. Yeah. Yeah, enjoy that. Yeah. Go on, then. Pregnant balls? No, about your, your glasses. Oh, no, yeah. Um, I was looking, because nowadays they're, they're... What are you talking about? Glasses, they've got cameras in them. Oh, yeah? In the old days, they, were, they weren't very... X-ray glasses. No, no. In the newspaper, back oh, in the newspaper, and, the, and they show a bloke, mark. put them on, put a bloke puts them on, and you can see I a the pair woman from, with no I, clothes I, I ordered, on. I ordered a pair from America. Of course you would do, you blink pervert. Yeah. From America? Yeah, that's what it was all from, yeah. it was from my comics, you know, the uh, Marvel comics. I, 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 had a, I had a gazoo off of the, the beat, the beat. Bee Gees? Beano. The B, the B-19? The Beano. No, the Beato, B, Beano, comic, a gazoo, that thing oh, you broke. Beano. Yeah. Do you remember Dandy? Yeah. You used to like that, strong didn't? man's daughter. Yeah, you've said that before. Pansy Potter. Pansy Potter. The strong man's daughter. Yep. Desperate Wiz Dan. Wizard and Chips. Yeah. Another one. Oh, All these lovely old comics. I bet you never got the eagle. No, you said that. We've had this we've conversation. Done that before, yes, we've had exactly the same conversation. You repeat yourself. Yeah, but they can't remember that. Yes, they will. They know everything, mate. Do, do they? Yeah. But you've got new subscribers now. Yeah, fair point. Ah, fair point. So let's go and find another bit of history. Okay. I don't drink anything in this car. I don't know it might be all containers full of Lincoln limeade by the looks After of it. You said that actually about um, drinking old drinks in the van. Yeah. Someone said, I think it was a lady. She yeah, said, someone said, I love she it. She said, I like to have uh, still drinks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but and let's put it this way. Say you're in a van and you're in the middle of nowhere. There's no shops. Everything but, happens in the middle of nowhere. You know you've got a little bit of drink somewhere. Yeah, but that's different. Why is it different? Well, because it is. Why? You're never Why? in the stage Why? where you, you've got absolutely Why? nothing Why? left. If you have it, if you are in that stage, you, you fail to prepare. So it's handy then, isn't it? Hey, It's handy to have a drink about. I'm not saying that, but you what tend to... What are you saying to, then? Well, get fresh oh, well, you've stuff. You've lost for words for not once. Not at all. No, not lost for words at all. Oh, look at the face. <laughs> where are we going now? History. Home. <laughs> Let's go on history. Find some history, folks. We might as well. What's a nice day? What's what's just said to you? Yeah. Um. Let's go that way. Okay. Right. I suppose we've been driving about five minutes now. Yeah, I suppose that. So. Yeah. I'm a little delicate woman with a little uh, cotton dress on, carrying a big suitcase with a big floppy hat on. Oh, an awful long walk to the main road, isn't it? Get my point. That's what? the point I was making. Why does it have to be a little woman? Well, just with a, a floppy hat. Because when you're making a point, we always exaggerate, don't we? Yeah, but that's we all do it. That's going over. So that's a bit pervert. Well, it's not, eh? It's pervert. What exaggeration? What well, no, about the woman? You, is it if you knew this? That's woman. making a point. Do you dress like that? Oh, right, this little old man, right? Little old man. I little don't. old man. He's got a little bowler hat on, right? He's got blinking one leg shorter than the other, and he's having to go all this way. How about that? I've, I've, I've taken it the other way to make the point. It's a long way yeah, but from he's the station. Got a wheelchair. He's, got, a, he's on disability he's, benefits, he's probably, mate. He's probably got a horse. He's, he's, he's probably a, a, a rich man who's got a horse and cart that's going to pick if, him up. If he, went, if he was a rich man, mate, he wouldn't be on a train. He'd be driving there in his horse and cart. Not necessarily. Well, how, how rich is he? Because a train is quicker than a horse and cart. <sighs> in those days, it was. In that day, it was a luxury. Not many people could afford to get on the train. It's a long way. 
It's a long way to right, enough, away. enough. Right, this is uh, Bardney, I think this is. No. That, that used to be the sugar place there, didn't it? Well, you were just going through Bardney. Yeah. And where are you taking us now, then? We're over a bridge. Yeah. This is on the way to Lincoln, by oh, the way. Potter Amworth. No, it's not Potter Amworth. We're well, near there. It's in between that, yeah. So this place, evidently, is meant to be pretty old. Oh, yeah, what is quite, it? Quite an old place. What is it? It's a house. Yeah, this one over there. Where? No one will stay there. Where? Over there. We can't, we can't drive in there, can we? No, I don't What's the point in driving past it, then, if we can't go in it? No, look. No. That place no, there, folks? Yeah, that's the one. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Many a time of the night they've seen white figures. Eh? Hey? White figures. Spectres? Yeah. Feel. So that was, you brought us all this way just to drive no, past the house? No, no, no. We've got some more up here. Don't drink at the wheel. Drink driving is a no-no. Big open spaces, folks. Let me turn the camera around and show you. Very flat, isn't it? And this is what they say about Lincolnshire. Apart from being flat, you've got what you call big skies. Look, because you've got no buildings, no buildings high up in the background. Look, panoramic all the way around. Look, look all the way around. Look, panoramic. Oh my God, that's a sight. <laughs> and the speed on this road, 40 miles an hour now. Look, this used to be 60. And they're dropping all the speed limits down. Yeah, they've had a few accidents. I was watching someone else's YouTube channel and in Wales, have, have they dropped the speed limits down to 20 miles an hour or something? Yeah, have you heard that places, one? yeah. What's that all about? And do you know something? What? Well, for someone like me, I think it's a good idea. Not because it will save 20 miles lives. an hour on no, even major roads is too low. No, no. Do you know the reason why? Go on. Because when I go to Wales, I like to drive slowly. To Shut the, that window up. I like to drive slowly to see all the scenery and you get all these speed buggers up your doodah no. wanting to do 60 miles Well when you're doing 20 miles an hour that's a different kettle of fish. I that's like, like blocking up, that's like, think of the country as your body, right? And all the roads are the arteries, arteries rather, arteries, Arter artery, arteries where the blood flows. And if you've got one blocking it up, then you ain't got good flow. So let it flow. Go with the flow. You ever heard the phrase, go with the flow? Yeah, but but when you slow the flow down, that's not healthy. I don't think it's that's every, meters I don't think it's 20 miles everywhere. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, go with the flow. Keep the flow moving. In other words, exercise. I'll tell you, Sonny. Here we go. Right. Now, they say about bicycles, yeah? Oh, yeah. Cyclists. Allowed to do two abreast. Yeah. Well, say they're doing two abreast at five, ten miles an hour. Yeah. They're holding up the traffic. Of course they are. Right, they're not only holding up the traffic, several cars back could be an ambulance. Yep. Which is trying to get yep. somewhere with someone who's dying. I agree. So but that, what, 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 that is so unfair. Yeah, I, it's not unfair. It's obviously being done for a reason. The reason is, is to bugger people off so that less people use the roads. That's what it is. They want less people on the road. Unless you know the bigger picture, which that, I think, is the bigger picture, that's they, why they bugger everyone off. that's why they don't fix the roads. They don't want look at the dip in that road there, look. Oh, no, look. Because large vehicles, 10 tonners, don't, yeah? Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> 10 tonners and all that are using these little side country roads which were never designed for that. Anyway. They're slowly moving away. Of course they are. I'm not ranting. So no. we're coming up to Lincoln now anyway, folks. We'll wait till we get there. And I don't know where, we still don't know where he's taking me. It's got to be better than just look at driving past a haunted house. Uh, now we're in Potter Amworth Booths. Lovely. Right, well, we've just pulled up, folks. Right, I haven't got a clue where we're going. The, the, the theme was somewhere like historic, right? Let's just see where he's brought us. I can't work it out. If it's still there, it will be historic. <sighs> Look where he's brought us. Look. Hollywood Bowl. Bowl, dine, drink and play. Right. What's the logic behind this? Because you said you can make anything out of anything when you're filming. Yeah, but I so want it historic. I don't think you're all the time. If this place is still here, it will be historic because it was started off in the 1950s. That's historic. Right, let's see what this is. I don't know what he's, I don't know what he's taking me, folks. Thank you. 
There used to be a wimpy bar in here. Did there? He caught us bowling, folks. I think that's a wimpy bar, isn't it? Up here. He caught us bowling. Where we are? Never been in here, folks. Never been in here. He's brought us to a place which is really noisy, folks. It's got copyright music everywhere. A place where I can't really film. Oh, is it? It's over. Got it wrong, haven't you? No, it used to have a whippy bar in Did it? Yeah. But a long time ago. Oh, Although the burgers look nice now, look. Oh, yeah, look. They look nice. Oh, well, you've got I'll have a coffee, though. I'll get it. Of course you will. I've got to find a seat. He just brought the coffees over, which it looks very nice. Good big cup. I went to sit down, the bloke's had to come over. He said, sorry, mate, you ain't paid. Here he comes, look. I walked away. I can't believe it. <laughs> He's come over You come to try and steal yeah. the coffee. How much do they were? How much? A big. No, how big? I said that. What one? Is that yours? Well, yeah, how much do you think? Well, it's got to be £3.50 a cup, innit? Three quid. How much? Three quid a cup. Three quid? Not bad. Well, it's, just, it's on par with, um, what's it called? Costas and all that. Oh, dear. Yeah, well, three well, pound is there. Three pound is there for a coffee, I think so, anyway. But yeah, like the hot water. Yeah. Well, yeah, no. well, look, the food looks good. It does look good. It's because we've eaten, because I was vetting. I've told you, see, I told you. They look, the burgers look very good, actually, look. But he said this used to be a wimpy, didn't he? He did, he did, a long time ago. Yeah, but that bloke well, said he'd been here five years, and he said... Ten years ago, I think. It's a long time since I've been here. Yeah. I want to go to a wimpy, just for old time's sake. I think we think there's one in King's Lynn, me and Sharon are going out of one. Good. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I might, I might have to have something. Oh, you want something? No. That'd be, that'd, I'm getting a bit hungry that, now. That would be greedy. Cheese and bacon burger, 8 29 Beef burger, 6 29 See, they use brioche buns. I'm not too keen on a no, brioche they're bun. They're American, aren't they? Yeah, it's all they're, sweet, they're isn't it? They're a bit sweet, yeah. I'm not keen on them. Hot dog, 6 29 at the right price, I suppose. Yeah, it's, it's not extortionate. Yeah. Places like this normally rip you off, you see. It Come don't on. look too bad for the money. It'd be nice to bring the grandchildren. It'd be nice to try one. Yeah, or bring the kids. I don't know whether you have one or not. They've got, they've got what do you call those as well? What's that? Um, arcade machines. I don't want arcades, I'm too no, old for that. We're nearly 60. You're in your 60s and I'm nearly 60. You know what? I still want to have the arcades. You won't come out a winner on that game, mate. That's a downhill slope. I'll do it for the fun. I don't do it for the money. For fun, I like looking around art galleries in history. So do I, but you never go. Well, you never take me. You don't like art. I love art. The nearest thing you've been to art. Oh, art is in the eye to be older, mate, that's is what it, that is. The nearest thing you've been to an art is a fart. Can we go? Uh, it's all right, folks, but it's not a place I'll be visiting again. I don't know what he's brought me bowling for to have a cup of coffee. Unbelievable. Hello. Can't get out. That's a fire escape. Is it? That's a fire escape. Can't get out of the fire escape. Well, fire escape. Where's the door then? Oh, it's here. No, it's not. That's a pool table. Where's the way out? I'm trying to get out of the fire escape, folks. Trying to get out of the fire escape. Lucky it didn't set the alarms off. You got lost, Ollie went out of fire escape. I know, I went down there, I went down to the toilet. Oh well. Lovely day. Well thanks for taking this for coffee anyway. That's alright. Done alright today, breakfast, coffee eh? on Lee. Eh? Make Day's not change. over yet, boy. Oh right, we're going to Dessert time. Dessert time. Oh well, there you go. There you you go. can actually go in there, folks, without actually paying to go in. Yeah, that's Which true. I suppose is handy. If you've got you at loose end, you can actually sit in the foyer there, have a burger. Or something like that. Watch the bowling. You ain't got to take place. And as Lee said, he went up and asked because we used to yeah. have to wear them silly shoes and put them shoes on and get verrucas and all that. But now you don't have to anymore. Anyway, yeah, it's all right. Not for me though. I just said to him, folks, we just got back. I said I can't face that. I.
We can't face it, can we? Not really. No, nah, we're going to leave hey, it well, now. Let's just have a quick look. It looks all right, though, doesn't it? I think it's all right as it is. Not... Will you be able to lay in there? Get in there. Show us how you lay in there. Hang on. Show us how you lay in there. I made it look worse than it is today. Yeah, go on. Right, because look, what I usually do is look. Hang that up. I put that over there. Yep. And I put that. Oh, oh, is that the one you need? Take that in, we'll get that washed. No, it's not the one I wear. It's not a. What is it? You'll never get into that one. Yeah. It's not been. It don't need washing. It's brand new. Never worn it. Oh, hello. Oh, here we go. Look, Jimmy. Look. What do you reckon? How easy is that to fix? Right off. It, Lee? What? Jimmy says it's a write off. Right off. That's the way it is. Leave it out. Yeah, you've got to sell it cheap, I'm afraid. Yeah, I'll have it off you if you want. A grand? Yeah. We'll do it for a grand. So what we'll, I usually do is. We'll take it off your hand for a grand. First. Look at the state of it, Jimmy. I wonder what I've got in here. Look. What's that? Show me. Look. I bought you that from. Um, yeah. That come from. Uh, Bar not Barcelona. Where did we go to? Yeah. Benidorm. Oh, look. Who's that? God knows why you're walking around with a photograph of Ed Sheeran in your it's car. It's not a photograph, it's my painting. I know it is. Who's Ed Sheeran. Ed Sheeran. Yeah. It's alright, isn't it? Well, I'll see it now, I hate that bloke. Do you know that? Do you? No, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, who's this? What thing? do you think, Jimmy? Did you, get, did, you, did you get money for it? What? Fish. No, you said it's only just happened. Yeah, but so, who's done it? Don't they know. don't know, that's what I say. Oh, no, I they drove off. Was there when they no. Did it. no, they drove off. Yeah, who's this? Michael Caine. Do you know? It is my old cane, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can keep that one. I took that door panel off. Will that pull out, do you think? Look. Yeah, push out. Look. That should push quite a bit out, wouldn't it? Yeah. That bumper split there, obviously. Could you want to stand right behind me like that? <laughs> 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 that door panel comes off easy enough. Lift it up for a minute, that flap. Lift your flap up. Is mummy in? Oh, hello. Cool. Oh, yeah, look, you can see that now, look. On the inside as well, look. Where? Oh, yeah, look. Oh, yeah. oh, look at that. It's a right off. Can't you get another door thing for it? How much are second hand doors? No, look. Not a new door for that. Look, no, no. Right. It's, it's been bent in. Look, yeah, look. That's all right. It still shuts. Thank goodness. That's, you can see the dit in. Look. Yeah, it's, you have to really That comes it. off easy. This, I've had this off already. Break all your clips down here. Yeah, that's, that's pretty simple to do, isn't it? Hey, I just fixed it. That's 30 quid. <laughs> hey? That's all right. That's that corner of that bump. It's only a little bit there, isn't it? Oh, what's your head? <laughs> it's just that he's not on it. Don't go up properly. That look it? at that, look, look. Okay, he's, good he's done a good job of that, hasn't he? What was it, a car, do you know? I don't he know don't know. Anything. I don't know. I mean, you don't see no CCTV. I, I, I went with Mum shopping. Yeah, your Mum didn't do it, she? She's done it. She got the oven, so she kicked it. Look at that, look. It's all just below there, though, look. If I was to do that the other side... No, he's stupid. In fact, it goes right to there. That's the high spot there. Yeah. Yeah, it's a yeah, big dent. Have a look for a second hand door. No, that's it, isn't it? That's, no, that's it from there. Oh, right. It's because of that ripple there. Because of that you ripple there. Out, you probably could get it yeah, out. It's not worth it. But though. you'd have to get it from the inside and knock down, well, wouldn't I you? I don't really notice it, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but you want it right, don't you? You want it right, don't you? No, not really bothered. Here, it's not brand Jimmy, he said exactly the same to me, right? I'm not really bothered. When I had to fix his car door, I ended up putting two screws in it. That's what I said. Because oh, he said I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered either. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. Yeah, all right. I'll it won't get done, will it? No, it won't get done. You're going to leave it? Yeah, leave oh, it. Why do you want to leave that? That's all right, look. It shuts. You really got. You didn't even notice it until I pointed it out to you. Well, I wasn't looking, was I? The only thing I don't like is that. Oh, that's it, yeah, that's it. And something. what, the smallest dent on there? Exactly. Don't mind a big dent. No, that's all you go to there. All right. Oh, here we go. He's looking, I know what he's going to go to now. That. When you do that? Ages ago. You've ruined this, man. I was with Mum. Oh, Mum again, was it? Yeah, man, yeah, it's always my Mum. Mum, you're bloody jinx, Mum. You made me a jinx. He's ruined this, man. And, and this... That yeah, I said I'll do it. Yeah, I wouldn't do it now. I, I, well, don't yeah, bother. You're not bothered, are you? I'm not bothered, no. I'm not bothered. But are you not bothered? No, it's not a brand new van. Yeah, no. can make it look as you're making it get worse if and worse. If I sold it, if I sell it, yeah. I'll get them done. Yeah, but then you've got to pay out for one lump sum. It won't cost a lot. I only pay seven and a half grand for this van. It's worth nine grand as it is. Who says not like that that now? I've only got to spend about two hundred. Good, you tall. Who from? You. You Jimmy. tall. <laughs> you well, tall. Uh, well, you be careful down here, boy. So you don't you don't want it done then? No, I'm not. Honestly, I'm not bothered. All right, okay. I've, I've, I've you heard it here first, no, folks. I've tried to offer to do it for free, but it's not bothered. Then I went. What? Yeah, yeah. That's all right. No, it's all right. You've, you've made your, you've led no, your. No. Honestly, I'm not bothered. You've just said that three times now. Yeah. We're sunk honestly, in now. No, to save your time and effort. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'll get recommended somewhere. But all I'm saying is, I don't mind. I'll get away. If it was me Yankee car. That's the sort of bloke he is, folks. That, I can live with that. 
I can live with that. Put your cut, put that away. I'm not cleaning that out then. You can do that yourself now. All that detritus in there. Only we with a cup of tea now, how can't we? We changed our mind. Of course we have. Why not? Go ahead and put your artwork in there. Yeah. Is that the eyes? No, not really. Get it back in there, please. Ed Sheeran. Uh, anyone out there, if you want any questions. They have asked you, actually. And I did I'll, say... I'll, I'll, and do you know what? They'll what? come and someone's bought one of mine. Have they? Yeah. Put your link to your eBay shop. Oh, there's one on the back here, look. Who's oh, that? Oh, who's that then? Is that John Lennon? No, who do you think that is? Uh, I'll tell you that. That's Roy, uh, Roy, Roy, Ronnie Wood. Yeah. Out of the Rolling Stones. That's it. Yeah, I can see that. You've only done half his head. Yeah, well, that's the artistic license. That's how you do it. <sighs> Anyway, oh, look, Shearer, he's tidying it up. Look, that's his verse of tidying it up. Look, you happy with it? Look, look. What's that then? Ready mixed paint? You don't need to buy all this deer paint. No. Look, 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 look. Come on, I want to go to the toilet. Oh, look. Oh, hello, what's that? Smoke and mirrors. Oh, your bustle vest. Hey, you don't need to go to the gym anymore. You just put that on. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh, hang on. Look, look. I want to go in now, please. Look. Oh, that's a nice colour. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> purple. Is it mauve? Oh, look. What's that then? I wonder where they went. Oh, well, we're back in now. Where are you going, baby? You're going out, and you? McDonald's and we're going shopping. Your baby's sitting baby Frank, and I've got to babysit him. Look. I've got a better deal. An yeah, immeasurable shelf. <laughs> Jimmy put it on. Yeah. So you're off to where? McDonald's and Lidl. She's had no lunch. She's just got up. Yeah. I wonder where my shoes go. Isn't it amazing how they can... Uh, come over here, Frank. Come here. How he can operate the phone. Look, watch him. Look, he scrolls through it and everything. Look. Put some more videos on, Frank. Look, look, look. Look, look. He scrolls. And then, go on, put something else on. Look, look, look. There's no sort of scroll, look. And those that touch the little thing. Look, you just press YouTube on again. Find a video you like, Frank. Look, they know at that age, look. And he knows when an advert comes up. Scroll up, Frank. There you go. Amazing, isn't it? Look. Find a video you like. And then touch it, look. There you go, well done, Frank. Very intelligent, the kids at that age now. Here's a little thing for you, folks. Do you remember when we visited the uh, White Hart in St Albans, that haunted hotel with uh, Jonathan Vernon Smith, and we couldn't get into that room eight? Well, one of my subscribers, Steve Lees, actually stayed there after that video, and he'd done this little quick video for us so that you can actually see what the inside of room eight was like. And also, he spoke to the um, the workman who uh, looks after the place, and he said that, that a little girl is seen in the fireplace of the uh, actual room inside. It's not what we thought looking inside it, but just to give you a little look, we thought we'd bring this one to you. So, thanks again, Steve, for this little video, and I hope you enjoy this one, folks. Right, so here we are, folks. We're back home now, and we've actually got a few gifts which you kind people have been sending us. What have we got, baby? Right, you've got that one from Kevin Bailey, and Ooh. I've got that one from Kevin Bailey. Wow, here we go. Let's have a little look here. Lovely jubbly, some sanding discs, which I use in my workshop. Get down, Merlin. Except for him, look. It's so They're not for you. <laughs> they think it's dog chews. Every time we do this little clip, they think it's dog chews. No. Cheers, Kev. Thanks very much, mate. They do really come in handy, this sort of stuff. And as you can see, Kevin, down. I've already used these. Down. I couldn't wait for these, and I'm at to start. What else you got, baby? Right. The dogs, every time we're here, look, they're, they're jumping up all over the place, look. Then, 
So well, what have we got is, here? This is another gift from Sheila Knightley. I hope I've said your name wrong. I think I might have said it wrong. Wow, look at this, look. But I'm sorry if I have, but thank you very much. Love them. They These are little beautiful. solar lights, folks, with uh, little, yeah, little solar panels on them. So Sharon can plant them in the garden, and our garden, as I said to you, lights up like a bleating, runway. like a lad in his cave, actually. Like a runway, Sharon. That's yes. a good one there. Thank you very much and indeed. this one? Oh, it's, it's been like, quick, let me get this This is a Christmas out. wrapping, Sharon. Let's have a look. I'll let you take that out. More runway lights, look. <laughs> <laughs> this is from Rob Simo and Louis, so thank you very much. Simo, we actually met down yeah. the Ragged Apron one uh, time, uh, maybe a few months ago, so thanks very much. Thank you. That's absolutely fantastic. Thanks very much, you two. I've got a lot of work to do in my garden. Of course you have. And also... Not even Christmas yet, folks. We're still in November. He says everything to me, get but this down, is for get us. Down. This is towels here. Thank you very much. Who's oh. that from? Kevin Bailey. Kevin Bailey again? Yeah, thank you very much. Much appreciated. Lovely. Thank you very much indeed. And then all I've got now... Not like that's not enough. I've overwhelmed them gifts this week. Thank you very much. It worked out nearly one a day. It was like Christmas every day. Unbelievable. So and now I want to say happy birthday. To a special lady who come over from Australia to All meet the us way. at the Ragged Apron. Yeah. So happy birthday, Marie. Marie. And I see Colin's been spoiling you and making you pancakes. On Facebook. Yes. And he had his Butler's Empire T-shirt on show as well. And another one I want to say happy birthday is to Vaughan Jones. And that's from Margaret and Butler's Empire. Wishing you a happy birthday. I bet you're a bit gobsmacked right now. like. There was someone else, name. Sharon. I think someone sent and me an I've email. Also, Carry on. I've got another one who caught me this morning. It's from Frida. We met you in the Ragged Apron and happy 81st birthday to your dad, Melvin. So that's from Frida and Butler's Empire. And now, see, my work is done. Write it down. Hold on. See? Not organised like me, is he? I even have I'm Christmas not. presents wrapped up, people. I'm not, actually. No, I'm not. I can't, I can't find it, folks. We get so many emails, and they come in different email categories and folders and all that stuff. I think you did mention Colin to me, so I think yeah. it could no, be No, it Colin. wasn't that one, no? Sharon. Sometimes people email or leave a message on the comments as well, and as you can imagine, folks, we get literally hundreds of comments a week, which we have to so go through. So if there's through. any other birthdays today, happy yeah. birthday. Yeah, we really, I really do struggle with doing birthdays and stuff like that yeah. for this reason. So it's something we can only do every now and again if we... Uh, or in correspondence with certain people. So please don't feel offended if we have you have sent me an email and it does get missed or whatever, we don't shout out. Anyway, that was what we've been up to this week. We've got a lot to do. We're going up to Scotland this week, aren't we? Next week, rather. No, this week, isn't it? Next, yeah, this week. Coming up this yeah. week as well. And we're also doing our comparison between the 5.5 um, the Kasori and also the uh, Turbozo, Turbo? Boost. Turbo Blaze. Turbo Blaze air fryer. Both from Kasori, both excellent air fryers, but one could you could class the uh, Turbo Boost as an upgrade or something to run alongside your um, Kasori Dual Blaze as well. Uh, it does a lot, lot quieter, shall it? Oh, it's so quite, a lot it's quieter. Unbelievable. But we want to do that little comparison video just to bring to you because a lot of you have had the, uh, the 5.5 <laughs> for maybe two years now, coming up to two years. And you either think of adding to another one or, or upgrading, it'll be a perfect upgrade. I can also highly recommend the oven as well. The Kasori oven, absolutely fantastic, yeah. I actually made my Christmas cake in it yesterday. She's done that in the little oven. We didn't film that, did we? No. No. But it was an impulse thing. I wasn't going to make one. And yeah. I was just like, no, I'm going to do it. No, there we go. We do a lot in all the videos, as you know, folks. And we also still use a slow cooker as well. Yes. We have mentioned that we have got the, the 15 in 1 Ninja. And we've also got the uh, steam pressure pot. pressure pot from Kasori. But sometimes when you buy, like, for example, a leg of lamb, which we're doing today, but you'll probably see that during the week in the video, they, they're a lot longer and they can't come in there. Now, you could cut the bone and, and break it in two and put it in the uh, Kasori or the Ninja, but a lot of people haven't got the facility to do that. Yeah. That's why we still have a slow cooker and we bring that out every now and again because it's a large one, our one, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's 8.5 litres, our slow cooker, and it's quite a long one, so that's why we can put the, uh, a long leg of lamb in there, for example, and do it that way. So, yeah, we still use a slow cooker. We do not use our oven anymore. We, totally haven't, off. we haven't used that for, well, a year, definitely over a year now, for example. What about this? But the last time we did, what's that? 
You forgot, oh, didn't forgot you? about You've that. Forgotten yeah. Forgotten about that. We're giving that. Get it. Bring it up here, shall? It's not been opened. It's not been opened. Oh, that's why I forgot about it. This my. Oh, you covered the address up. This is the Altenic handheld portable vacuum, which we've done a uh, a review on, and. Daniel, you te I'll tell Nick, finally give us one to give away. One's going up to Scotland for my daughter to do a review on, and this one is going to one of you within the next few minutes. So if you've hung about, a lot of people Say normally- thank you, Sharon. A lot of people drop off at this time, Shao. Right, stop. here we go. So that Altenic Hoover, here's the question. Oh, this is gonna be good. It's coming straight off it. Ready? Like Ready. We done a video at a haunted hotel last week with John Vernon Smith. What radio station does John Vernon Smith I know. broadcast on? By the way, hi John. We need the exact name. Write down in the comment section now the, the radio station that John Vernon Smith, JVS, broadcasts on to win this. I'm gonna give you a few minutes and you don't have to be the quickest, because we're going to do a number. I know you're all typing it in now. And as I say, we ain't going to be taking the first answer. We're going to be coming up with a number very, very shortly. And whoever's number in the comment section there, the right answer, not duplicated. You can only put one answer in, folks. And if you do duplicate it, we won't be pulling that number out and counting that. It's only the, we're counting individual items. So... John Vernon Smith broadcasts on what? I'm going to give him a bit of a clue. On what BBC channel? Radio channel. It's a BBC radio channel. So the first part is BBC. And the thing is. Blah, 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 blah. And John Vernon Smith, he can't go in for it, Sharon. He's listening, and some of your listeners are listening, some so they've got it exactly, straight away. Exactly, yeah. So I'll give you a little chance to uh, Google that now. Those of you who don't know. I highly recommend it, John, the Hoover. Yeah. So. Here we go now. We're going to choose the commenter at what number you can choose. Don't go too like, high because we've got to count down them in a minute. I am going to go 15. Number 15. The 15th correct comment down there will be the winner of this. And we won't know until this happens live in the chat box there. We're now counting down, me and Sharon, to find out who that but 15th person... We're trying to keep yeah, up we're, with Yeah, we're you trying all. to, because it's going zooming, zooming, yeah, zooming. Mad. So we're now counting down the 15th person. And the 15th person who has won that is hopefully now written in the top, pin to the top comment now. And that is the winner. Good so luck. if that is you, well done. Or send us an email at this email address here. And it will be posted off tomorrow. And we'll ship that off tomorrow to you first class. It must be UK mainland, folks. I should have said that at the beginning. UK mainland only, I'm afraid, because we can't ship that abroad because it costs too much. A lot much. of the plugs don't work anywhere else as well. It's, well, it's only for the charger, isn't it? Well. Anyway, that was a little one for you. Those of you who, who luckily enough, stayed right to the end have now had the chance of winning that. And well done, new winner there name pinned at the top there anyway thanks very much folks we're working on our christmas special now we hope you're gonna watch that probably around mid-december it's gonna be good he's got some work what? you won't recognize him in one of them we won't recognize any of us Sharon, hopefully no, i definitely won't recognize you in one of them anyway thanks very much folks hope you've enjoyed this vlog bits and pieces i know it's a bit random that's what happens in our life that's we what just you like. we film exactly what goes on in our life we're random. this is real life tv brought to you Reality Butler Styley. Thanks very much. Butler Styley for all you Butlerites. We'll out see there. you in the next video, and until then, bye for now. And well done, the winner. Bye. It's just well literally done. come that out of the blue. I forgot all about that, show, didn't we? No, you did. Let's, I didn't. Come on, baby, let's upload this video and get that Sunday roast, roast lamb on. We'll have eaten it by bye, then. Bye, folks.